Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm the Skinny Bee Man here. This is uh, week 12 of the Intermediate Series. Uh, I'm really disappointed in this series, the way that things have progressed. It, uh, you would know the package that I picked to do a series on, on trying to make a bunch of splits was a dud, but that's, that's part of life. Uh, as you can see, this whole yard Anywhere you see a brick on all these boxes, these are all hives. Ah, I can't get the zoom right. All of them's got bees in it. And this, this bee yard has been made up of only four nukes. And 30 packages. I've sold 50 nukes out of this yard, still got this many bees, and umpteen number of queens I'm selling. So, I mean, the splitting works, it just, we just picked the wrong one, we picked a dud. And last week, uh, everything I'd done seemed to go wrong. This uh, box right here was one of the originally put in the double two frame. Well, I sold the queen out of it this week. And I had the, the original queen we took out of uh, over the hill and made the original splits. She was in here. I sold the queen out of her this week, not thinking. So I, it's just not been real good on things. But we'll kind of go through. We're going to assess things, try to get these others requeened. If they uh, get requeened, we'll give them a frame of brood get them started and we'll use them. If not, we're going to go down here and pick a nuke box up, a new one, and we're going to start this series over and hopefully it's a little late in the se later in the season it's harder to make splits as the season goes on, but it can be done. I make splits all year long. Can't be any harder than the first round we've done because it was it was sure we sure picked a dead. I picked a dead. You guys didn't. I picked a dead queen when I should have just went on and got another one when when I seen that they trying to supersede her. But this this box up here, this is the original queen out of the package we put in uh, the medium boxes. We just kind of look in here real quick and see what they're doing. They see if they need another box. I doubt it. But sometimes they can jump up and really build up quick. It surprise you. Don't need another box, but got a considerable amount of bees in it. Give them a little smoke, see, tell them we're coming. Partial frame of cap brood on both sides. You got cap brood all in this area. Same thing on that side. So this split's just chugging along good. Got plenty of resources. Got enough bees. Not have to worry too much about them being robbed at. They got enough bees to defend things. Another frame of partially cat brood and uh, she went back in there and laid back in it. It's all filled with all filled with larva. That one girl up here trying to kiss me. She ain't happy with me. Honey frame, partial, partial brood. The other two frames are honey. They're going to need another box here in probably two weeks. And, and this thing will be rocking and rolling. So we're all right on that one.
We'll walk down here to the problem hive now. See what we're going on. Flies has been terrible this year here. You see all these flies on the side of this box? They're just terrible. Get this down a little bit here. Hey, if I remember right, the queen that I lost out of this box, she didn't come back. I don't know what happened to her, whatever. We, we're starting the wrong one anyway. We got to do this 85 over here and see what we got in 85. I think I put a queen cell in it. They had an awful lot of activity. I don't know whether she's come back and made it or we got robbing going on. Maybe robbing it out. We're in pretty much a dearth here right now. No, not robbing it. If you got robber bees, they all fly up off the frames when you open the hive up. Well, we got a chance to requeen it. As you can see, we got an open queen cell. She's hatched. I really don't want to get down in there and check for virgin. I just want to check, make sure she's hatched. We'll check her next week. So this split still got a chance of making it. It's about its last chance. The bees are getting old in it. It'll be harder for them to get started. Since we've had so much trouble, we might give each, if these come back mated, we may give them a, a uh, frame of brood and boost them up so we can get things on the road and do some more fish here. Well, this is the intermediate series. You guys ought to have some uh, uh, resources that you can pull off of and, and add to add to. I think I give, since we lost the queen, I think I give both sides the queen cell to see if they would make. You know, guys, this is crazy. Here, we got queen cells everywhere on top of these hives. We sh this hive should have been rocking and rolling. But shoulda, woulda, coulda, it didn't happen. bee business, it always surprises you. What's supposed to happen don't always happen. Hmm. Maybe I've already pulled the cell out of here. Maybe I check, uh, check it. I don't know if you got a virgin in there or not. Well, Oh, I know what I've done. I pulled a frame out of a hive that had a couple of cells on it and stuck it in here. The cells to the side are cut down out of this one. Maybe that queen come back to this side of the box. Them cells are not hatched. They've been cut down. I'll show you here in a second. No, there's a queen here. She 
cut the side of them cells right out. Let me try to get out of the light. I'm not a very good camera person. She's running right here. I don't want to drag her too much. She'll probably fly off. I want to show you these cells. Let me get up here. See this cell? The side's cut out of it, not the end of it. She's killed that cell. Same way with this one right here. They cut. The, she cut the side out of it. So, well, we got a chance of this high, this click coming up, and maybe making it something. Be careful pollen patty right now with the high beetles. You don't want to give them much. You draw high beetles right in there. These yellow jackets seem like they're going to be a problem this year. I don't think there's anything in this side. Big old queen in there on the side. There's a queen in that hive. Huh. Well, we'll give her a chance to fly and get mated. She ain't got many bees, but there's a queen in there. Back over here to the original split. It had a land worker in it, if you remember right. I gave him a queen cell. It has not hatched. I don't know if I have to look in my records and see when it's supposed to hatch. It's not hatched, so I don't know. I'll have to give him another one. Do something different. This side over here didn't have any feed in it. I'm not going to pull the cork out of them today. So we're going to go back in this side over here where this had this real, real pretty tiger stripe queen. Hopefully she's up on a frame now where we can see her. There's some people in there wanting to see how to catch a queen. I really don't want to catch a virgin. I don't like catching a virgin by the wing, but probably ain't got a choice. 
Here we've got a bee trying to kill her. Robber bee. She's running around. You just reach down and pick her up by both wings like that. Now I'll put her in the palm of my hand. Actually, I'm going to let the cork out. I'm going to let her walk right in there. The cork's in the other side. I thought they was robbing that side out. This queen would never, never make it. Come on, girl. Go up in there. I'm going to show you a trick on introducing a virgin to another hive. If I ever get her to go in there. Come on. Well, if you didn't want her to do it, she would. Yeah, we finally got her in the cage. You see her in there running around. Now, I know you guys are going to think this is crazy, but this works. I've left this hive open and got a few robbers in there. That's not a good thing. I'm going to show you the results of this, hopefully, and it never works. Take a queen like this, a virgin, even a mated queen. Get her up there, spit on her. Now we're going to turn her loose. You watch, watch the bees react. They won't ball her up. They'll come up there and they'll start licking on that girl and clean her up. She comes out of the cage. There she is. She went right down that frame. She's walking right. We'll pull that frame out in a minute. You watch, all the bees will be licking her. Kind of like a dog. If a dog comes up and licks you first, he probably ain't gonna bite you. And that's the same way with that. If they lick this queen first, they, pro they probably ain't going to kill her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, they ain't paying no attention to her. She's right there. Usually, they, uh, I just let them out of the cage like that, and they just come up for... I've got this all excited because I've got a few robbers in here. Because I left the top on them. Let's see what happens. This queen cell here. I'm going to have to put it back in the incubator. I don't know. We'll see here in a minute. These things done. I don't remember where I what I took it out of or whatever. This is a, the split we took off of the medium boxes. 
Looks like we may have to put a box on these. A lot of activity here. We'll just have to see. some rearranging on the frame to get them drawn out a little better. That's all the honey frame. Solid frame of cat brew. Next week, this box definitely will have to have another box on it. I'm going to take this frame over here that they ain't working too hard on. And put it right down the middle there. They don't like that brew chamber but divided. They'll draw that out. So, this box, this box here is doing great. We'll be ready for another box next week. Hopefully, guys, this series will get a little better than what it's been. A little bit of bad luck and, and bad choices. This is the, where we put the original package. This is the bees we left here. that all laid up. Oh, that's a nice big old thing. You guys hardly ever get tired of looking at queen. Big old queen. This queen here is out of the, my survivor stock that I called the uh, uh, five frame. Put her in a five frame nuke, she'd give me five frames of cat brood. Give her another box, she'd give me ten frames of cat brood. She'd done that all summer and she's still a good queen. Produces some real nice daughters. So as you can see how much better the, the splits we made out of this, and of we got the, the original hive up there, we took the mother off of, and I sewed the queen off of this week. But anyway guys, 
I hope you learned a little something. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, uh, the bell next to it, so you get notified when we put new videos out. And we'll catch you next week. We'll try to come up with something different. Y'all take care.